Hey guys, what's up? Cardinal here, and today I'm here with another Nintendo unboxing. Today we'll be unboxing the Hatsune Miku Kigurumi Agumon version. So this is pretty much just like a Hatsune Miku crossed over with the Digimon franchise, and uh, she is going to be wearing an Agumon costume. So this is adorable. I am a huge fan of Hatsune Miku, and I am a huge fan of Digimon. So this was a must buy for me. And uh, she was retailing at 5,500 yen. And uh, she is going for five. Uh, she, she was released in this month, so in May of 2021. So, if you have a chance to get it, then I would recommend you to get this if you're a Digimon fan or a, uh, or a Hatsune Miku fan because I believe her price is going up um, by a bit. I think it's just because there is so little Digimon merchandise um, for Nanoroids that this is just going up. But yeah, let's just get right into the unboxing for this. Um, we'll be going over all the accessories as usual. And you'll see my, my backdrop today is a little bit different. I'm using a Digimon playmat to do this unboxing for a special occasion. So let's get right into the unboxing. I believe each of the other Nenor, uh, the, uh, each of the other Vocaloids also have a Digimon counterpart. So maybe those will get releases but I don't know so let's have a look at at uh, the main figure first so we'll take a part take her apart and uh, see what she comes with yeah, it's an interesting way to do it okay so we'll take this apart first and then we will have a look at the sculpt so here is the main figure it's very cute. Um, the Agumon does look a little bit weird because the there's a seam in the back here for you to to put put the head back on. So it's a very obvious seam, but I guess that's how they chose to do it. The hair is done pretty well. The body it's interesting. This is a very interesting and I, I haven't really seen anything quite like it before. Uh, so the legs, the legs are, you know, double jointed, uh, they're ball joint legs. So that's pretty cool. But there's obviously a gap in here for you to move around. So it, it might not look super good uh, on camera. But yeah, otherwise, uh, it's there is a matte finish on there. So it looks pretty nice. And the paint is the paint job is done pretty well. No real defects uh, from what I see so far. The arms are uh, single jointed, and they they they're pretty smooth. These are these joints are a lot better than the uh, some of the other um, Hero Edition Nanorites. Uh, there, these feel really smooth, and I think. I think they are, yeah, they're put in there pretty, pretty well. Uh, there's not, they're gonna, they're not gonna fall off anytime soon. Same with this swivel here. Feels very nice and solid. And let's see if she can bounce on her own. She can't really, not really, but you can kind of cheat around with her hair. Kind of make her bounce like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. She can kind of do the. Do, do this for, for bouncing. Yeah. So that's the main figure. Oh, well, it's, it's pretty cute. Didn't really expect anything else. But uh, let's have a look at the face plates. So for the face plates, we have the curious looking face, and here is the very cute, happy face with the tooth that looks like that. So I guess this is like the Agumon, or like. A fang. She has this fang because she is technically a dinosaur now. So there's that. So let's have a look at how you just uh, assemble this and change her face plates. So it's very very easy. You just have to do take that, and then if you want to put it back on, you just uh, put the hair back in first. Put the lid back on. I'll call it a lid, but it's just the top of the 
the hood. So there's that. This is very cute. Um, I think I saw a picture with her. She's just sitting down like this. This, this is very cute. Very, very cute. She, can she balance her? I don't think she, yeah, yeah, she can, okay. So you can balance her on her like that. So that's pretty cool. I'm probably gonna display her sitting down because she looks very, very cute sitting down and with this face, definitely keeping that pose. And I don't think she actually comes with that many more accessories. Uh, she does come with a second blister, which we will open now. So we'll put her aside. Go. Yeah. All right. Oh, I, I, I see, I see. It comes with a butterfly, which is obviously very iconic in the Digimon franchise because it's one of its main theme songs. It's called Butterfly. The probably the most famous theme. All right, so. In the second blister, we have uh, Tai Chi's goggles, Tai's goggles, and we have a butterfly. And then I think she also comes with a stand, extra neck joint, pretty standard. But yeah, that's 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 pretty cool. Let's have a look. Let's crank the light up a bit. Whoops. That's not what I want to do. Let's crank the light up a bit. All right. So here, she can kind of, uh, let's have her stand up. Obviously, she'll be a lot easier to stand with the stand. Go. And then the goggles, I think they just go in her hands like this. And then you can probably change her faceplate. Uh, we'll, we'll put the goggles there that last. You can probably change her faceplate to have her have this curious face. Maybe you might use this with your, with the butterfly. I'm actually wondering where the butterfly part goes. So there should be a... I actually have no idea where the... Oh, okay. Oh, I know where it goes. All right, so uh, this white part here is actually a part of her claw. You can remove a part of it. I'll do it later. But we'll we'll we'll, we'll uh, have her hold on to the goggles first. And give you have a look at that. That's just that's precious. That's very cute. Uh, now I'm but now I'm deciding if I should have this pose or the sitting down. Happy face pose. Both are very cute. Which one do you guys think? You guys pick for me. But overall, this this Nether one is just really cute. Have her do that, and that's pretty cute as well. All right. Uh, all right. Let's let's have a look and see how we can insert the uh, butterfly part. Pretty sure it's this. Yeah. So you just gotta shimmy it out slowly. You'll see that there's a. There you go. So if you take it out, that and there's a slot for you to put the butterfly. So it'll look like this. Kind of looks like she's giving you the finger, but no, it's just uh. Yeah, 
and that's all she comes with. She doesn't actually come with that much, but I'm guessing the majority of the cost came from the Agumon suit itself. And maybe the IP, I don't know. Because I know Bandai doesn't usually like to share its, um, its IP with other brands. So, you know, maybe this is kind of like a loophole that uh, Kutsuma could do because it's technically a Hatsune Miku figure. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this unboxing. It's a very short one because there's really not that much else. But it is a nice figure. Uh, I, I would have paid for this one even if it was 6,000 yen because I do really like the design for this thing. Um, like if you if you hide it, the, the joints don't look that bad. Like this one you can only see like these ones in, in, in camera, you can't, these aren't super obvious. So yeah, overall I'm pretty satisfied with this one. I like the design. I would definitely want the uh, Gabumon, Luca, and I think the Adamon and Gatomon Len and Rin. I think those are the other Vocaloids that have a uh, Digimon outfit. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Karataku, and I'll see you guys next time.